Jesse? Hey. Busy this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll see you get the message. Have you had one of those days? Yeah, I hope there's no major crisis. No, just a series of small ones. You'll be handling it very well. Well, I'll tell you, I've gotten this far. I just crossed my fingers and prayed. Ah, just the man I'm looking for. Have you got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I'm trying to find your daughter. Did you try her apartment? Yeah, several times, but no answer. I'm hoping it is that Laura's just avoiding me. Ah, oh, Dr. Webber? Hi. How come everybody's looking for Laura lately? Well, uh, it's... I'm just trying to find her, that's all. Uh huh. But... Seems like everybody is. What do you mean? Oh, uh, Tony asked me about her yesterday. Tony Cass? Yeah. At yeah. lunch. Well, I was over at the EOQ office, as a matter of fact, the other day, and the Quartermains are at a complete loss as to where she's gone. Well, I'm really sorry that they're inconvenienced, but it certainly won't be for long. Nothing anybody should worry about. She just felt, you know, as people will, that it was important for her to get away for a little important. while. Important. Uh, well, anyway, I'm glad that she's all right. Yes, yeah, she's fine. That's fine. I was just a little concerned. It's my relief, anyway. Well, uh, see you sometime. Bye. 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 Hi. Hi there. Everything's under control, and I'm skipping out early with my wife. You <gasps> tell anyone, Rick, and you're as good as dead. Oh, oh, now, don't forget, we're expecting you for dinner tonight. Oh, no, we'll, we'll be there. See, I'd we be won't forget. very disappointed if you didn't make it. And the lady speaks for me, too. <laughs> what is this, a special occasion of some form I don't know? It certainly is, but you're going to have to wait until tonight to hear more about it. Come on, Audrey, if we're going to spend those precious few minutes together. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I, so, uh, we'll see you tonight, huh? Yes, at 6. Oh, it was earlier if you can make it. Oh, okay. But we're looking forward to it. Good, good. Well, see you then. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Oh, I Spring. love them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, that's 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 a very good sign, though. I, I think it's what an is? excellent sign. Well, being invited somewhere as a couple. I mean, it must mean something to someone. Yeah, it probably means they don't like uneven numbers at their dinner table. Very funny. Very funny. Mm -hmm. And true. Sure about the Cabernet Sauvignon? Oh, no doubt about it. And if anyone prefers, we have white wine, too. All right. Well, then I'm just going to stop worrying about it. Nothing to worry about, darling. Your orders look great. You look great. And if our little plan works, everything will be great. Oh, it has to work. We just have to get the Webbers and the Baldwins together before things get much worse. Oh, yes, there is such hostility between them. I hate to see it. Well, we just have to nip it in the bud, as they say. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you think that Rick is going to be surprised when you ask him? I think so, now that he's got that waterfront clinic operating in full swing. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. Hello, Steve. Hello. Good evening, Steve. Good evening. Hello, Jill. Listen, we are so looking forward to one of your scrumptious dinners oh, tonight. Oh, dear. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. How are you, Lee? I'm well. Good. How are you, dear? Oh, it couldn't be better. Please Good. make yourself comfortable. Okay. By the way, we're expecting uh, Rick and Leslie. They should be along any moment. But you know what can happen to doctors when they make dinner plans? You didn't tell me you'd invited them. Well, now you know. Excuse me. Hi. Open on late. Hi. Not, not at all. Come here, Hello. Hello there. Audrey, Good I think you all know one another. Uh -huh. Hi. Of course, hey. of course we do. How was the pizza? Tommy and I are starving. Hey, sport. How are you uh, doing? Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm okay. I'm Good. glad to see you, too. Where's Laura? Mom said that she went on a vacation. Probably some more exciting, I'll bet, huh? Well... I... You know, I could use a vacation. <laughs> I wish she asked me. she go by all by herself? Uh, yes, she did. Huh, no kidding. That's crazy. No, not if you want to get away by yourself and, uh, and have some rest. It won't be for long, though. She'll be back. Since Audrey and I will be going on vacation, Rick, I'm asking you uh, to take over for a while as acting chief of staff. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, Steve, I have the clinic. Uh-uh, you can't use the clinic as an excuse. We're oh. just ro rolling along down here. We'll get along fine without you. Oh. Well, what do you say, Rick? I don't know what to say, Steve. I, uh... You might try saying yes. <laughs> yes, 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 all right, oh, yes, and it's an honor. Well, thank you. Congratulations, Thanks. Rick. Seconded. Yes, it's wonderful. Thank you all, and it is an honor as always, Steve. I appreciate it. The clinic will roll along just thanks to Leslie's able help. Oh, well. She almost makes it a money-paying operation. <laughs> Things are going very well. 
Wesley and I are friends again. Clinic is doing well. Laura's better. Now, come on, look, everybody. We don't know each other too well for this. I mean, it isn't right. We're, we're acting like a group of strangers, for heaven's sake. I mean, we're acting the way we did when Jeremy came downstairs before dinner. I, well, I'm sorry if you embarrass anyone. And, and now, I mean, just the mention of Laura's name and oh, this... Uh, maybe we'd better not. Please, Steve, please. I, I, I want to finish. I, I was hoping that this little dinner party of ours for all of us would be like old times, but it isn't. I mean, something is terribly wrong. Now, I know it is none of my business, but I might as well say it, because I've gone along this far. Isn't there some way that you can iron out your differences that are relating to Laura and Scotty? Mm -hmm. Audrey, I don't think there's a lot of sense in it. Well, I think there is. There's a great deal of sense. I mean, it is terrible to have all these bad feelings and tensions among us when we're, we're all friends. We know each other. We work together. We care about what happens. Well, I hear what you say, Audrey. Well, then why can't we stop it? Hmm? Now, what's the problem? What's the problem? It seems very simple to me. Because of the way Laura treated Scotty, I have lost a son and a law partner. And I do resent anyone saying now that he is being selfish. But who's saying that? Well, Rick and Leslie, they may not be saying it, but they're certainly thinking it. Look, Scotty has been hurt, and it's going to take a while for him to pull his life together. So... We understand that. Of course we do. It's just very hard to understand if he's not going to communicate with Laura. That's all she's asking for. Is this. Their marriage is over, and as sad as it is, he's... He's going to have to accept that fact. All Laura really wants to do is get a divorce and go on with her life. Now, you say he's trying to get his life together, but if he refuses to talk to her, if he refuses to even let anybody know where he is, doesn't it really feel like he's trying to get back at her? Oh, I think it's pointless to continue this conversation, Steve. But look, maybe, maybe so why not see it through? It is getting late. Come on, let's go again. What brings you guys down to Kelly's? Well, uh, we're out on the town. Ever heard of uh, Ladies' Night Out? Say no more. <laughs> we have just been to a movie, which I might add was, uh, I felt awful. Well, parts were pretty dull. Yes, they were. So we had some time to kill. We decided we'd come down here and get something to eat or drink, whatever. See what happens when your husband abandons you. <laughs> I think it may have a better idea. Oh, what's that? Why don't you come with us? We're going to the disco. Oh, come on, you're not serious. I am serious. We can all go to the disco and you can get something to drink there just as well as you can here. Ah, uh, well, how do you feel about it, Kat? I think it sounds great. Well, look, uh, we'll just, we'll grab something to drink here and then we'll meet you there. How's that? Wonderful. You'll know just okay. where to look for us. We'll be there. Okay, look, I'll just tell Martha to take your order. All right, fine. Hello? Hi. Hi. Yeah, well... Hi. 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 Hey, we're out uh, going to the disco, and it's turning into a bit of a party right now. We were just headed out the door, and we ran into Kathy and Monica, and they said they would join us, so oh, we're off with them. Sounds like a party. <laughs> yeah, why don't you join us? I, I don't think I could. My feet, we walked the whole waterfront. My feet are just falling off. Yeah. Well, long walk. if you change your mind, you know where to look for it. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Have a good time. I'm glad you said that, because I don't think I could have made it either. Well, why don't we sit down? Oh, good idea. Okay. Up to you, madam. Knees, please. Oh, thank you. Thank sure. you. Sure. Oh, they bend a little hard, too. Feels good to sit down. It was a long walk. Uh-huh. I enjoyed every step of it. Do you have any idea what I uh, kept thinking about as we were walking? No, tell me. Our future. Well, I think that's uh, pretty well determined, don't you? Oh, well, not unless you're serious about Tony Castle. <laughs> Rick, you can be such a dope sometimes. But I thank you for asking. Do you think about the future? all the time. Well, then maybe we ought to think about it together. Steve and Andre get back. Maybe we should take some time. 
and go away somewhere. Just to be together and to talk and to find out who we are. We're very different people now. Take the time to just... See, baby, we did the wrong thing inviting the, them all over tonight for dinner, huh? Well, we gave it a good try, honey. And your dinner was super. I don't know what else we could do. Well, I must say it was wonderful to see Leslie so supportive of Rick. You know, it reminded me of the... Good old days? <laughs> yeah. They are a marvelous couple. I hope someday they can iron out all their differences. Well, it looks to me like they're on the right track. It's just too bad that we can't get them back together with the Baldwins. Oh, yes, there is still so, so very much hostility there. But maybe in time, the wound will heal. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe it's best all around just to leave it alone. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's still up. Hi. I just wanted to ask, did I see something wrong earlier when I came down the stairs? What makes you think that? Well, when I mentioned Laura, Mr. Baldwin gave me this weird look. Oh, now, Jeremy, don't worry about that. The young man you did or said nothing wrong. That's a relief. Where are you headed now? I'm going to go to the kitchen and get the leftover apple or pineapple surprise. Oh, no way, kiddo. You had a belly full already. Now, you get back to bed. Yes, you're going to have some of that after dinner tomorrow night. Oh, I tried. Kids see so much, don't they? Yeah, it's too bad we can't see ourselves the way the children see us with all that goodwill and trust. Hmm? 